Hello YouTube, NSWD Tech Tips here. This time I want to show you how to access the hidden menu on your LG G5. Um, I'm using LG G5 SE, which um, you pub probably know is the slightly uh, cut down version of the G5, but still perfectly powerful and brilliant. Um, the hidden menu itself has access to gives you access to a number of different features um, that you would normally uh, want to have access to if you're not a, a, a LG engineer. In, anyway, to access the hidden menu, um, the first thing you need to do um, is to act, is to find the model number. Um, so in my case, it's uh, the eight forty. So if you're not sure. Go to your settings menu, okay. Then you scroll down to the bottom about phone, and then you find hardware info, okay. And if I'm right, yeah, model number. Scroll, uh, put it over there. Model number LG uh, H840. That's my model number, the 840. Okay. So let's go back. Okay, so what you do then, you bring up the dial screen, use a stock dialer, don't use any third party apps that you may be using. Okay, so you start up the dialer, right, and uh, click on dial if it's not selected already. Okay, and then you type in this number. Okay, so it's star hash five four six three six eight excuse me for looking away i just have check it uh checking my notes there and 840 okay see 840 the model number that i previously mentioned then hash right and this is the hidden menu screen okay now um one of the things that the hidden menu screen as is a test for uh, the GPS. Normally, you go to the Play Store and download somebody, uh, somebody else's app. You know, pay for it, whatever, whatever. But the phone has it built in anyway. So if you, if uh, you have any issues with uh, the GPS, you can test it. And th there you go. So yeah, go to, go to field test. That's uh, the bottom option. GPS test. Okay. Okay. Then you go to air test okay actually yeah that's it you go to gnss test okay so that comes with that screen nothing's let me just minim uh minimize it slightly yeah okay better nothing's happening on the screen right so what you do is you go Top right hand side, there are three vertical dots. Tap on that, start GPS, and then your GPS info comes up. Okay, this actually tests you, uh, tells you uh, if your GPS is working properly. And the best, I'm actually inside the moment, so it's not working efficiently. Uh, but if you're doing this test, make sure you're outside, uh, clear sky, so on and so forth, you know, that nothing, not, not under any shelters, right. Um, you have different options. Uh, hang on, what's that not going on? Okay, ne the one next to it is text screen. You want it's a text version of the first screen. The first one is diagram screen, next, uh, then text screen, network screen. I'm not going to put it on because that shows you my address. <laughs> Obviously, you're not going to put it up. Then you've got basic settings, right? So you enable log. Right, so it keeps a log of what's going on. I've got to enough because those things usually grow exponentially. Auto call start and so on and so forth. Okay, back to diagram screen. Yep, there you go. It's doing the test right now. So that's how you access the GPS. I've got to turn it off. Okay, it's actually running, but you know, you get, you get my drift. But uh, you go back to the other options. You got Wi-Fi test. You got in and flex mode, whatever it is. <laughs> um, 
all sorts of stuff, fake language, call test, all sorts of different tests, same, same info, okay? Okay, uh, all sorts of stuff, just have a play, um, but, but don't mess around with anything that you're not too sure about. And if you're doing and you mess up your phone, it's not my problem. <laughs> That's my disclaimer. Anyway, NSWD Tech Tips signing off. Please subscribe, like and share. Have a nice day.